Okay, guys, thanks again for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy on the table. Once again, we got little Coco, our little Cavalier Spaniel. Uh, just wanted to show you a few things on Coco. Um, sweet little dog. These little calves are just little angels of dogs. But um, in a lot of cases, uh, not just in these breeds, but in any breed, uh, they can suffer from what's called an umbilical hernia. Um, we're going to show you that by lifting her up. Come here, Coco. Let me just lift you real quick, Mama. If you could see that right there, okay. It's an umbilical hernia, which is just a, it's a little bump, uh, usually caused uh, when, when they're born. Um, it's just a little compromise of the intestinal wall. Uh, but, and a lot of dogs do have that. Usually it's not any cause for concern other than to just be aware of it and just make sure that, you know, it's not getting real big or anything like that. But in Coco's case, um, it doesn't cause her uh, any problems. Uh, there's no life-threatening problem or anything like that. Uh, but from a grooming perspective, we always want to be aware that it's there. Uh, for example, you know, if we are doing, you know, our sanitary clip uh, and we're coming up, you know, underneath here like this, you know, you don't want to hit it with the blade, uh, you know, or, you know, come and nick it or anything like that. Uh, you know, another thing is, uh, you know, with the snap-on comb here, you definitely don't want to, uh, you know, if you're coming underneath like this and, you know, doing your haircut with a snap-on comb, the snap-on comb is very pointy. Uh, you definitely don't want, you know, to be hitting that and popping it open uh, because then, there, you know, that's reason for concern. You could definitely uh, cause an infection like that. Um, you want to be very, very careful with that. Um, you know, you definitely uh, don't even want to if you're scissoring underneath, uh, we, we put Coco in a very short cut. We did like a two snap on comb, so she's short. Uh, but a lot of times we'll leave the featherings longer here. Um, you don't want to be coming underneath like this with your scissors and, and grab uh, any skin there from that umbilical hernia. So we just really want to point that out. Again, a lot of dogs have this. Usually it's never a problem. They don't really suffer from it. Uh, again, unless it gets very large, um, then, you know, there might be some cause for concern. Um, usually they are very sensitive there, so you even want to be careful on how you pick them up. You don't want to really put too much pressure on that umbilical hernia there. Um, yeah, you lift them up more from the chest cavity. Um, yep, so we just really wanted to, we want to kind of bring everything to you, what we see on a daily basis, how to be careful, how to notice it. Uh, if you ever have a new dog come in, uh, yeah, you, you, that's definitely part of the inspection there. Um, you can see it once again, it's right there. And you always want to inspect, because again, it's not uncommon. A lot of dogs have this. Um, and if you know that your dog has this, uh, definitely uh, bring it to your groomer's attention so that they know, so that they, uh, you know, they, they can be careful just like we, we just talked about. So, yep, we just wanted to bring that to you guys. Uh, definitely thanks again for tuning in. Give it up for Coco, guys. Uh, we uh, we, we want to show you more videos, so uh, please, once again, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, check out our radio show. It's called Rumor Humor. We're going to leave that link down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Give it up for Coco. Okay, cool.